yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dominic Peterson, a.k.a. Doug Zone 503, talking all things Oregon football. If you're not following, if you're not subscribed already, go and smash those buttons below to join the Doug Zone family where we're always talking Oregon football. If you guys been around here for a while, you heard that every video by now, so you got to be locked in. Subscribe, following, wherever you're watching, man. Make sure you're locked in with the Doug Zone pod. Also, guys, at Doug Zone 503, pull out your phone real quick right now. Swipe to the next app, Instagram or Twitter, whatever you whatever you go on. If you're on both, lock in with me at Doug's on 503 for the quickest Oregon updates. All right, guys. So as you know, it's December 5th today, Monday, December 5th, time of this recording. It's the morning time. Bowl games were just announced. Transfer portal just opened up today. So, man, we're about to see a lot of news coming out. So make sure you guys are locked in. Really appreciate everybody who's locked in, following. Uh, really appreciate the way we're we're growing, man. It's been it's been an awesome year with you guys. As you know, last year and around this time, this is when we pretty much started up the Duck Zone podcast and the way we've been growing is, is all thanks to you guys. So really appreciate you, Duck fans. Really appreciate you, Pac-12 fans, basically West Coast fans out here for basically locking in. I had a few Georgia fans I got to uh, connect with as well. Uh, during the season okay it's officially bowl bowl game season cfp time let's talk about it we're gonna uh uh just kind of uh go ahead and talk about each bowl give a little bit of a take on each bowl game every single college football bowl game in this video um so let's do it let's start with the december 16th bahamas bowl at the bahamas bowl 11 30 a.m kickoff you got uab uh versus miami ohio to kick off this this bowl game season on December 16th. Don't really know too much about those two teams. We'll move on here. We got the Cure Bowl, uh, December 16th, 3 p.m. kickoff. We got Troy versus UTSA. Um, I know these two teams have always, uh, uh, over the last few years, have had, had some pretty good teams, pretty explosive offenses. Um, so this, this one might be a fun one to watch if you like offense. Uh, December 17th, you had uh, f- uh, you got the Fenway Bowl with uh Louisville versus Cincinnati. So both two both two good teams. Cincinnati was in the college football playoff last year. Um didn't have really the season they they had last year of course, but uh two two good historically good programs uh going at it. Uh New Mexico Bowl December 17th, we got BYU versus SMU. Uh BYU, you know, you thought they'd be having like a 10 win 11 game win season. Uh, maybe a, a CFP uh, berth well, at the beginning of the season, you were thinking that, and they just did not have the season at all that I thought they would have. Uh, Oregon spanked them at home. I was there for that game. And then uh, they're going to go ahead and go against SMU, who might be up for this game, right? You got BYU, might be down. Uh, really, really veteran team that had a really good season last season, really was expecting high things this year. And going against an SMU team that might be really excited to be in this bowl game. So we'll see how that one plays out. Uh, then you got the Jimmy Kimmel Bowl uh, uh, out there in L.A., uh, Washington State. Okay, so Pac-12 representative here. Shout out to Cougs on a really good year in the Pac-12. Played the Ducks really rough. Had to escape out there in Pullman uh, with a three-point win. Um, so Washington State versus Fresno State, who historically has always been a good team. Always been a good team here on the West Coast. Um, uh, small school with Washington State, small school Fresno State. So good. Uh, you know, a uh, uh, Pac-12 conference versus Midwest conference there um, with Fresno State, Washington State going against each other. I think that's going to be a really good game. Uh, one that I think the Pac-12 can definitely get. I think Washington State's a really good team, and I think they can beat Fresno State. Then you got the uh, Lending Tree Bowl on December 17th with Southern Miss uh, versus Rice. Don't know a lot on these two teams, but if you want to tune into that, um, I know Rice, Josh Pate always likes to say, don't lose to food, right? So Southern Miss... Don't lose the food. <laughs> All right, December 17th, we got another Pac-12 representative in the building. This is a big game. Going to be watching this for sure. Florida versus Oregon State. Okay, Oregon just lost to Oregon State. The Beavers, okay, the Beavs are tough. Okay, real tough team. Uh, they had a few losses that they probably wish they could get back. Real close loss at home to USC, only by three. They beat Oregon by three at home. So, you know, they've had some tough losses, some tough wins. Same with Florida. Uh, you know, they they beat Utah. Okay, the Pac-12 champion, right? They beat Utah at the very beginning of the season, and uh, going through that SEC schedule was just a gauntlet. Um, so they end up playing Oregon State in the Las Vegas Bowl, 
that's going to be a big time game man. uh be out there in vegas that's got to be a good time then you got the uh the frisco bull northern texas versus boise state all right boise state's always been a good program uh, when it comes to football then you got north texas um you know don't know too much about that team uh out being out here on the west coast really kind of cover it out here but um, yeah, that's that should be a good one. Um, I'll probably be uh, kind of pulling for Boise State personally in that one, just kind of being a West Coast guy. Uh, okay, then we got the Myrtle Beach Bowl, December 19th, 2.30 p.m. kickoff. We got Marshall versus UConn. Um, you know, Marshall uh, historically always has a good offense. UConn uh, at times can be good at football, really kind of a basketball school. Um, so that's the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Then we got December 20th. We got the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, right? Right there in Boise, uh, Idaho. You got San Jose State versus Eastern Michigan. Two small-time schools going there. See who gets the best of uh, both uh, teams there. Then December 20th, moving on, we got Bach de Ratten Bowl, Toledo versus Liberty. So uh, two small schools going against each other there. Moving on, we're getting closer to Christmas now. Uh, December 21st, uh, big date. That's a big date right there, December 21st. That is early signing day period. Uh, that's the early signing day right there. Um, so would not want to have a bowl in that game. So glad Oregon kind of has their game a week from, from the December 21st. So December 21st, we're entering the New Orleans Bowl. New Orleans, uh, we got Western Kentucky versus South Alabama. South Alabama, I don't know too much about Western Kentucky, except that our running back coach, Carlos Lachlan, Oregon, Oregon's running back coach, Carlos Lachlan, came from there. And I do know they really like to pass the ball a lot. Um, South Alabama played UCLA this year uh, in their second game. And South Alabama certainly stuck around in that game. And uh, UCLA had to, had to win that game by one point. And UCLA is certainly a very good team. So South Alabama... Uh, I think they might have the edge here. We'll see. Uh, December 22nd, moving on after early signing day, we go to the Armed Forces Bowl. We got Baylor versus Air Force. This is going to be a really interesting game. Got an academy team in Air Force who had a really good year, especially their defense, man. Their defense is really stout. And then you got Baylor, another good defensive team. This has a making of a real low-scoring game. Um, you know, both teams, uh, I don't know how much their offense can really move the ball. But both of their defense, man, this is going to be a really uh, good defensive battle. December 23rd, you got the Independence Bowl, Houston versus Louisiana. Um, I think these are two really good offenses going up against each other. Uh, that's going to be a good one to watch if you like offense. December 23rd, the Gas Barilla Bowl. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The Gas Barilla Bowl. Uh, we got Missouri versus Wake Forest. So um, you're kind of getting into some, uh, some uh, you know, P5 action here. Here we go. We got Christmas Eve, December 24th. You got the Hawaii Bowl in Honolulu. San Diego State versus Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee, man, I think they had a big upset against Miami, or maybe that may have maybe been uh, Middle Tennessee State. But Middle Tennessee here, uh, San Diego State, uh, I bet they're happy to be in Hawaii on Christmas Eve. <laughs> All right, day after Christmas, no games on Christmas, but the day after Christmas, December 26th, you got the Quick Lane Bowl. Bowling Green versus New Mexico State. Don't know uh, too much about those guys. Uh, Camilla Bull, the Camilla Bull. Yeah, Buffalo versus Georgia Southern. Two small schools trying to uh, prove their dominance. December 27th, you got the first responder bull. Memphis versus Utah State. Um, not too much, not, not knowing too much about those guys. Just, uh, December 27th, we got the Birmingham Bull. Coastal Carolina versus East Carolina. December 27th, we got the Guaranteed Rate Bowl, Wisconsin versus Oklahoma State. Now, that should be a really good one. Both uh, Oklahoma State was, you know, uh, sitting right outside the college football playoff right there in midseason, uh, sitting there uh, undefeated. And, uh, you know, they kind of slipped up late, kind of like teams do. And now they're going up against Wisconsin in the Big Ten. Uh, military Bowl, December 28th, Duke versus UCF. That should be a good one. UCF so is, is, always has a good team. Uh, Duke, surprisingly, is really good at football this year. Usually you think of Duke having a basketball squad. The, these guys uh, these guys are playing some football this year as well. December 28th, you got the Liberty Bowl, Arkansas versus Kansas. Okay, storyline of the first probably eight weeks of the college football uh, season was Kansas, right? Kansas was undefeated. Uh, for most of the most of that season before they started slipping up 
and losing some games. Then you have Arkansas who, you know, will win a big game and then lose two games they're supposed to win. <laughs> uh, shout out my cousin Randy out in Arkansas, the Hogs fan. Woo pig for them. <laughs> All right, December 28th, Holiday Bowl. You guys know it. Ducks, go Ducks. It's going to be a big one, 8 p.m. kickoff. Uh, I think that's Eastern Time, 8 p.m. kickoff on Fox. Oregon versus North Carolina. I think this is going to be an absolute shootout game. Both offenses can uh, score the ball. I think Oregon can run the ball in North Carolina. I think North Carolina can pass all over Oregon. Um, so this is going to be an absolute, absolute one to watch. Uh, not even saying that just as a Duck fan, but if I was just a college football fan, this one's going to – we're going to have Bo Nix playing, uh, Drake May on the other side. Man, it's going to be a, a real fun one to watch. December 28th, we got the Texas Bowl. Ole Miss versus Texas Tech. Again, another offensive game uh, that's going to provide a lot of points. Uh, December 28th, bringing the fireworks, people. December 29th, we got the Pinstripe Bowl. Minnesota versus Syracuse. Uh, both teams that, that, that um, over the years have had pretty decent squads. Um, Syracuse uh, started out really good and then kind of slipped up towards the end there. Uh, Minnesota always has a, a pretty decent year. Not too bad, not not over like not national title contenders, nothing like that. Okay, December 29th, Cheez It Bowl. The Cheez It Bowl, you got Oklahoma versus Florida State. Florida State had, had a really good year. They they started out beating LSU in an absolute crazy game. I watched the game on the plane actually coming back home. Um, where or uh, from Georgia when we when, after that Georgia game, man, that was that was uh, that was an absolute awesome game. Florida State's a really good team statistically, really, uh, really uh, average team on both sides of the ball, uh, but gets things done. And then you got Oklahoma, who you know that's just a blue blood. You guys know Oklahoma, so this is going to be a really good game, uh, a good game, uh, December 29th in the Cheez It Bowl. December 29th, you got the Alamo Bowl, another Pac-12 representative here, and a game that I think the Pac-12 can win. Uh, of course, you know I hate the Huskies, but you know. I'm a realist at the same time. And I do think Washington can beat Texas in the Alamo Bowl. Now, Texas basically is at home here, um, being in San Antonio, right? Uh, you, but Washington, I think they, they can go out and get the Alamo Bowl. On December 30th, we got Duke's Mail Bowl, Maryland and, uh, and NC State. Uh, both teams that, you know, pretty average in their conference. And uh, yeah, should be a good game there. December 30th, another Pac-12 representative, which, uh, again, I think the Pac-12 can get this one. UCLA versus Pitt. I definitely think that UCLA uh, has a dangerous run game. DTR is very good. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure on his status if he's actually going to play in this game or not. But, uh, man, let me tell you, UCLA's got some guys, and they got the running backs uh, to run the ball on you. Um, and they and they got they, they, they could score. So, I think they got a good chance against Pitt in the Sun Bowl. December 30th, the Gator Bowl. Okay, we got Notre Dame versus South Carolina. Notre Dame, a lot of Duck fans wanted to see, uh, you know, want to see Notre Dame in the Holiday Bowl. They don't go there. They go to the Gator Bowl instead against South Carolina. Okay, so we got some SEC versus uh, ACC, it looks like, or independent, whatever it may be, uh, with Notre Dame at this moment. But, yeah, that's gonna that should be a good one. Okay, then on December 30th, we got the Arizona Bowl, Ohio versus Wyoming. So a couple small schools there. And then December 31st, you got the Music City Bowl um, here on, uh, you know, uh, New Year's, basically. Iowa versus Kentucky. Iowa, really, really stout defense. Okay, really hard to score the ball on those guys, on the Hawkeyes. But, man, they just cannot move the ball. While Kentucky got a really good offense, not so much on defense. So, each each playing into each other's weaknesses should be a good game there to watch. And we got January 2nd, we got the Relay Quest Bowl, Mississippi State versus Illinois. Okay, Illinois, really, really good defense. Once again, we're talking about a really, really stout defense. Mississippi State, um, they're better than people think. They don't get a lot of national coverage, but man, this team is really good in the SEC. Uh, they got some good quality wins. This should be a really good game to watch. January 2nd, the Citrus Bowl. LSU versus Purdue. LSU is sitting right there outside the college football playoff, man. They got a, a big win. And, man, now they're going to go out and play Purdue. I don't like the matchup for Purdue. I like LSU and the Citrus Bowl. That should be a good one to watch, though. 
Okay, let's get into it. Now we got the uh, now we got some big bowls here. We're gonna get into the college football playoff bowls coming up here. But uh, here we go. Let's get into it. December thirtieth, we got the Orange Bowl, Tennessee versus Clemson. Man, and it's isn't it funny how it's the Orange Bowl and we got two orange teams, right? So that's gonna be a big, big time game, man. I I like Tennessee in this one. I really like Tennessee in this one. DJU transfers out of Clemson. Uh, man, Tennessee. I think they're going to put up some points. December 31st, you got the Sugar Bowl, Alabama. <laughs> they got left out of the playoff this year. And I, I deservingly so. I don't think uh, TCU should have got penalized for losing their championship game if you go through your regular season undefeated. Um, Alabama uh, uh, is going to play Kansas State. Uh, I don't like things for Kansas State, but who knows, man. Bama could come out flat if they just don't want to be in this bowl. But we'll see about it. We'll see about it. So January 2nd, we got the Cotton Bowl, number 10, USC versus number 16, Tulane. And man, let me tell you, I don't like the matchup for Tulane, okay? Again, the Pac-12, I think USC, um, you know, after playing in that championship game, they lost. But man, they have a dangerous offense with Caleb Williams, Jordan Addison. Man, I don't know how many guys are going to be actually playing in this bowl game, but I think it's a uh, Cotton Bowl, man. That's a big game to play in. Uh, and Tulane... Uh, as good as they are, they went through their schedule. I just don't think they play the quality of opponents that we do here in the Pac-12. And I'm not saying the Pac-12 is a dominant conference, but hey, man, six teams in the top 20, basically. Uh, man, the Pac-12 is doing some things, okay? They're doing some things. Another Pac-12 one here, the Rose Bowl, granddaddy of them all, man. One that I wish Oregon could have got to for sure. Uh, but the Pac-12 champ. Once again, got to give credit where credit's due. Utah, they get their opportunity to go to the Rose Bowl and go get it, okay? Last year, as you know, they played Ohio State. Narrow, narrow loss, and Ohio State wins the Rose Bowl last year. Okay, now they're going to play Penn State, okay? I think Utah has a very good chance to beat Penn State in this game. It's going to be tough. Penn State's no slouch, but uh, being on the West Coast, I think Utah fans travel very well. They're gonna be they're gonna be wanting this Rose Bowl. I think this is their year to go get this Rose Bowl. <laughs> okay, now let's do it. We get into the college football playoff here. Okay, we got the Peach Bowl, Georgia versus Ohio State. I think this is the game to tune into for sure. Absolutely, man. I mean, Ohio State with that offense. You got Georgia, who's just been absolutely dominant all year. Uh, proven number one team. I I think this is gonna be their toughest game. Okay, for Georgia, if Georgia comes out flat and Ohio State puts up points I think Ohio State can win this game but if I I you know I just don't think anybody in college football will match Georgia I honestly think Georgia will win this game by double digits and they'll go to the uh, national championship and win that game as well all right Fiesta Bowl Michigan versus TCU now TCU lost their conference championship game against Kansas State now they were penalized for it but I think this is just going to be a cakewalk for Michigan. I got Michigan winning this one. Uh, everybody's going to count out TCU for sure. TCU will be a big, big time underdog. Um, but, you know, Michigan's run game is just dominant. I think you'll see Georgia and Michigan in the national championship. I think Georgia will win the national championship. That's my prediction without looking too much into it. But yeah, guys, that's the complete bowl game schedule. Just wanted to share the schedule with you guys. We're going to have a preview and prediction episode coming out for the uh, Oregon North Carolina Holiday Bowl, um, probably the Thursday before um, the game. So let here, let me let me just do a quick calendar check for you guys. So the game will be on the twenty eighth. We'll put that out on December twenty second for you guys. So December twenty second, mark your calendars, guys. That's about in two weeks. So we got some time. Okay, we're gonna have the transfer portal opening up today. So I'm for sure gonna be having uh, a whole bunch of shorts. Okay, you guys go to my shorts. I always keep you guys updated with as many um, transfers. Okay, there were a lot of transfers yesterday uh, that came out that I can't always hop on in front of the camera and make a whole video about it. But if you guys pay attention to the shorts, um, you guys will see that. And I'll keep you guys updated with the transfers. Transfer portal just opened today. Oregon offered a former uh, DB, Alabama uh, DB. Can't think of his name off the top of my head, but go to my Twitter and Instagram, guys, at Doug's on 503 if you guys want to lock in with me for the quickest Oregon updates. If you guys like content like this, okay, where we're always talking Oregon football, West Coast football, Pac-12 football, no matter what it is, 
at Doug's on 503 is your favorite podcast. But guys, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it. Really appreciate you guys as always, okay? Um, like I said, it's going to be a busy offseason. A lot of transfers coming in. Lot, uh, recruiting class, early signing day, December 21st. Bowl game, December 28th. December 22nd, we'll do a uh, preview and prediction. Man, it's going to be crazy. February 1st is the last signing day. Um, regular signing day pretty much for the 2023 class uh, for everybody to get signed up and then we start looking into the 2024 guys and we'll get them on this channel for sure so make sure you're here for that really appreciate you guys as always guys go ducks